Light is refracted at the interface of two different materials, such as air and water. Here I have an ultraviolet laser pointer and some uh, fluorescently labeled water. So I can actually see the laser pointer in water. Normally I wouldn't be able to see it because there's nothing scattering, but this is a fluorescent material like a marker and uh, it, it therefore um, fluoresces and you can see the beam in water. So if you look at the trajectory of my laser beam, just extrapolate with your eyes, look at the straight line where the laser beam is pointing, the line in water is not straight with respect to the line in air. Why? Because of refraction. So if I follow and I go through air first along that left edge of the yellow paper, I follow it accurately and I shift it's going as straight as I can and into the water you see what a tremendous amount of shift that was I try not to move any other angles and I'm way off let me try again I'm gonna go along the edge not move anything you see it's all the way on your left side of the pa yellow paper and now back again I'm at the edge of the yellow paper on your right. So this deflection of the trajectory of the laser beam is called refraction. Refraction at the interface of two materials. When light goes from one material to another, it doesn't go straight, but it's refracted. So for example, when light travels through air, it goes straight through. When it gets into water, it goes straight through. But when it goes through the interface of the two between air and water, then it's refracted. So I have a laser pointer here. I have a tank of water with a little bit of coffee creamer so it scatters so you can actually see the laser beam in water and um, I'm gonna show you that if we go straight in a normal incidence so perpendicular to the water surface we can see um, that there's reflection you can also see reflection at the bottom there if I go in at an angle but what I would like to point your attention to is the fact that if you look at this direction of the laser pointer it is different from the direction of the beam going through water you can see better if I do it in the other direction here and I spray some artificial fog you can see the refracted beam kinks towards the normal to the surface the beam does not go straight at the air water interface but is kinked it's not bent, it's kinked. It abruptly changes direction with a sharp angle. And it's kinked in the direction towards the normal because of Snell's law. 